Peoples, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, which is Beyond the Sky Podcast. And today I'm back with another horror story to tell you guys. This story is a very true story that happened specifically in France to a young girl named Clementine. Let's get started. Clementine was 19 years old and as a gift her parents bought her her own little flat where she could be living all alone and where she could also be close to her university which was also very helpful to her because her family lived in a villa who was that was quite far from her university three weeks after receiving the keys she was fully ready to move in so she said her her goodbyes to her family and she placed everything in in the truck and drove to her flat upon arriving to her flat she opened the door and she felt everything was so beautiful it had large windows very modern tiles very modern walls very modern doors it had very modern bathrooms as well and she was in love with the flat that her parents got for her quickly she settled down the entire day she was at the house and she was just placing her couches placing everything and settling everything and once everything was settled she realized that something was missing it was the curtains so since so since her flat is in the middle of the city she doesn't feel you know the ick you know of not having curtains but she makes a mental note on her mind that in the next couple days when she has time she has to go to the store and buy her own curtains to cover the window clementine was really happy she went to bed she used her phone and she went to sleep When Clementine woke up, she saw that it was 8 in the morning. She did her morning routine, and she washed her hair, she brushed her teeth, washed her face, took a shower, basically ate her breakfast, took her school bag, and went to her university. After her classes, she went back to her flat and then realized that she had to go buy curtains. Because she was so tired that day, she then decided to just take a quick nap. And then later on, she will indeed, even the next day, honestly, she'll go buy curtains. One night, after Clementine's little nap session she wakes up and she notices that it's 8 p.m at night she doesn't bother to open the lights because the light from the her street is bringing it's shining brightly into her apartment so she doesn't really feel the need to open her lamps she opens the tv and she starts to watch a movie 20 to 25 minutes into her movie she starts to feel the urge to smoke and for unfortunately yes clementine has a habit of smoking but it's not an everyday type of smoke she smokes at least once a week or or two times a month it's not an everyday thing which is honestly shocking clementine then decided to open the window and to smoke and you must know that there's certain there's certain apartments in france that every window has like a little small balcony on the bottom so you can just open the door and you can step out into that small balcony or just you know place little things there so clementine she opened her balcony she opened her window and she started to see a shadow facing her and looking at her she didn't want to panic but she then understood that there's something there looking at her when she looked and she clearly analyzed what was looking at her she realized it was the old woman this old woman was looking at her and after she she stared more this woman had a really weird facial expression as if of not pride but this old woman had a facial expression of like aha i knew it like she was expecting clementine to come out but clementine said that that woman really did not look human of course she had human traits but there's something about her her 
aura was just showing that she was not human. Clementine quickly panicked. She closed her window. She threw her cigarettes and she went to her room and locked herself in her bedroom. Her bedroom also, which did not help, her windows were also not closed. So she decided to stay in the bathroom where the window was not really there the next day clementine woke up she looked around her apartment there was nothing there she quickly got ready and before going to university she went through the store she bought some curtains and she finally put some curtains up there and surprisingly after a couple days clementine it's like as if she almost forgot this encounter this didn't really bother her as much but now that she's thinking of it as she's now grown She's not realizing how creepy that is. She's wondering, what? who was this woman? Who was she? What was she doing? So yeah, that's the story, my angels. Um, what do you guys think about this story? For me, I feel like that was an entity as well. That was kind of just, you know, not surprised. But I feel like this entity knew that Clementine was moving in this place. And maybe she met an entity that was just passing by. I'm not too sure. But this ent- but because Clementine said it's as if the entity was actually waiting for her to so she can manifest herself. It's quite interesting when you think of it. So yeah, my angels, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this story? Please let me know down below in the comments. And if you guys want to, if and if you guys want to share your stories with me, I will be so happy to tell your tales with the people. So if you want to tell your stories, please send me an email down there in my description. You'll see my email. And please don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and click the notification button if you want to know if you want to receive more notifications about my stories and that i'm gonna and when i'm going to publish all right everyone bye bye